Sorry, English teachers. Now, those guys have been around since 1940 entertaining us. And guess what? I'm Marcus, and I'm here to help entertain you today with the Great Day with Clear Day show. Now, our first video up today will be Desiree, and she has some fictional characters. And can you guess their silhouette? Hi there, friends. It's me, Desiree, with Clear Day. Welcome to today's fun game, Guess That Silhouette. Today, we're going to be guessing Silhouettes of famous characters. Let's get started. Our first famous character. Can you guess which silhouette this belongs to? What character could it be? Try to guess. All right, the answer is Snagglepuss. He came around in 1959. Moving on to our next famous character. Can you guess who this is? What famous character is this? The answer is Pink Panther. He came about around 1963. All right, here's a silhouette for you. Can you guess the character? The answer is Dennis the Menace. All right, our next character. What silhouette does this belong to? Whose silhouette is it? This character came about in 1957. The answer is the Grinch. The Grinch. All right, our next character. Can you guess which famous character this is? The answer is Atom Ant. He came out in 1965. All right, here's our next famous character. Whose silhouette is this? It is Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. He came out in 1955. All right, here's another famous character silhouette. Whose silhouette does this belong to? The answer is Frosty the Snowman. All right, here's another famous character. Whose silhouette does this belong to? The answer is Popeye. Popeye the Sailor. Our next famous character who is this? This character came out in 1966. The answer is Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. All right, here's our next famous character. Can you guess who it is? Well, his famous line was, what's up, Doc? It's Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. All right, here's another famous character. Can you guess who it is? Which character is this? The answer is Yogi Bear. He came out in 1958. 
All right, next up we have, whose silhouette is it? The answer is King Kong, King Kong. All right, our next famous character. Can you guess who this one is? The answer is a beagle named Snoopy. All right. Our next famous character. Can you guess who this is? The answer is Charlie Brown from the Peanuts show. All right, our next silhouette. Can you guess which character this is? Which famous character could this be? The answer is Jimmy Cricket. All right, here we go with our next famous character. Can you guess who it is? The answer is Tweety Pie. Tweety Pie. All right, what about our next famous character? Whose silhouette is this? What was his name? The answer is Sylvester. Sylvester. All right, our next famous character. Whose silhouette is this? Well, it's a Great Dane that came out in 1969. His name is none other than Scooby-Doo. All right, our next famous character can you guess whose silhouette this is? This character was first introduced in 1952. The answer is Tony the Tiger. All right, and our last famous character. Can you guess who this whole silhouette belongs to? This character came out in 1954. The answer is Godzilla. Godzilla. All right, a bonus one. Can you guess which famous villain this is? Which famous villain does this silhouette belong to? The answer is. Corilla DeVille. She came out in 1956. I hope that you enjoyed this fun game. We'll see you next time on Guess That Silhouette. Wow, Desiree, that was great. There was a couple of those that I don't know if I knew exactly who they were, but we have some more for you. Next thing up is Desiree and Kristen helping you to work it out. I'm Desiree with Clear Day and this is... I'm Kristen. Hi. Today we're going to be playing instruments. So I want you to keep in mind that as you work through these exercises with us that you be mindful and listen to your body and don't overdo our exercises, okay? So just listen to your body. If you need to take a break, take a break. And if something gets too difficult, try to make it a little easier for yourself. Okay, so the first instrument we are going to start playing are the drums. So our first drum is the snare, and this drum is played using sticks. Now you can tap your sticks with your arms crossed like a drummer, or you can just simply tap, tap. Okay, so we're going to do tap, 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 and we're going to play that snare. Very good. Keep tapping. And then just for fun, I think that we should do a rhythm. So how about with our left arm, we do three quick taps, and with our right arm, we do one tap. Ready? Left arm, three quick taps. Tap, tap, tap. Right arm, tap. Let's do that again. Tap, 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 tap. Very good. Let's just tap along. Keep playing that snare. Very good. All right, and stop. Our next drum that we're gonna play is the bass drum. 
And this one is used uh, with our feet. So we're going to do a slide type motion and we're going to take our left leg out, point our toes and tap them and then tap our heel and back. So toe, heel, back. Toe, heel, back. Toe, heel, back. Very good. Now let's do our right leg. So again, we're going to point our toe, reach out there, heel, back. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. Toe, heel, back. Very good. Toe, heel, back. Toe, heel, back. Very good. Okay, so our next drum is going to be the conga. And this drum is played using your palm, the, the space between your pinky finger and your wrist. So you're gonna play in this kind of a motion, just like so, okay? And another way that you can play the conga is by using your fingertips. So just by slapping it, just slapping the conga. Very good. So you can just alternate between a palm or your fingers. Very good. We're gonna play the conga. Very good. All right, and stop. Our next drum is called the tom-tom, and that is a mixture of multiple drums all at once with sticks, okay? So you can just kind of play however you want. We're playing the whole drum set now. You could even move your feet if you wanted, but you're just hitting those drums. Have you seen those drummers that bang those drums? That's what we want you to do. So just play your drums. Very good. All right, very good. And stop. All right, let's sit up straight if we're in our chairs. The next instruments we will be playing are the string instruments. And our first instrument is the guitar. And the guitar is usually played by strumming the strings. You hold the guitar up, we're gonna hold it up with our left hand to start, and we're gonna strum those strings. Strum them, you can move your top fingers up and down, okay? So that's how a guitar is typically played. And sometimes they use a pick, sometimes they use their finger. We're gonna play that guitar. Very good. All right, let's switch sides. So now we're gonna hold the guitar with our right arm, and we're going to strum the guitar with our left. Very good. So we're gonna strum that guitar. Very good. Keep strumming. All right, and stop. <laughs> Our next uh, instrument is going to be a violin or the viola, whichever one you prefer. Um, now these instruments use a bow and before we can use the bow, we have to rosin it. So we're gonna get our bow and we're gonna add that rosin. There we go, just rosin your bow. Very good. All right. And starting with our left side, we're gonna hold it up kind of like it's under our chin, like tucking it under there. We're gonna have our bow, and we're gonna to go to a side-to-side -side motion. You can do a down and up motion, or an up and down motion. And you're just gonna play that viola or violin. Very good. There you go. Keep going. All right, so let's switch sides. We're gonna play the violin on our right. And we're gonna tuck that right under our chin. And we're going to up and down, side to side, and down and up. Very good. All right, very good. All right, and stop. We are going to do our next instrument, which is the banjo. So this instrument is usually picked using all of the fingers, and it's in a very, um, very fast pace. So it's gonna be similar to the guitar. We're gonna use our left hand, and we're going to just strum our fingers as fast as we can. Very fast paced. 
and you can also do your top fingers also. So we're going to play that banjo. It is hard. <laughs> it is, and the, and the picks are actually on the fingertips, so it's not something they hold in their hands. All right, let's switch side. You should start feeling it in your arms. You might feel some burning. It's good for our muscles. There we go, playing that banjo. All right, and stop. Now we're going to play the fiddle. So the fiddle is an instrument that also uses a bow. And so we're going to need to rosin our bow before we start playing. So just rosin your bow. Rosin that bow. Very good. All right. And starting with our left, we're going to hold it up under our chin, just like we would a violin or viola. And this one, you're going to play as fast as you can. You're going to do those strokes down and up as fast as you can. Side to side, and up and down, as fast as you can. Very good. Keep going. Playing that fiddle. All right, and let's switch sides. Now we're going to do it on our right side. Have you ever heard that song, Devil Went Down to Georgia? This is the instrument he's using to play that song. There we go. It is a fast one. All right. And now, let's stop there, and our next and last string instrument is the harp. So with the harp, it's usually placed on the floor between your legs, and you're going to just bring your fingers to you and strum the strings. It's usually a very peaceful instrument, very calming and soothing and relaxing. So you're just going to strum your fingers and bring those arms to your chest, reaching out as far as you can. Strum your fingers. Very good. Keep going. We're reaching out in front and bringing our arms to our chest. All right, and relax. So our next instruments are going to be all of our handheld instruments. So we're going to start with the maracas, and these instruments are played by shaking them. They're kind of like rattles, but for adults. <laughs> They're big rattles, so we're shaking them. We're trying to make as much noise as we can. And again, feel free to make any rhythm that you choose while you're doing these exercises. I'm just going to go to town. We're shaking those maracas, all right? Keep going, very good. So we're shaking them. All right, and stop. And sit up straight. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale out. All right, I hope you enjoyed playing our instruments today in our workout. Have a good one. See you next time. Wow, worked up a bit of a sweat with that one. Now, we have a little bit more for you. Can you guess these 1960s show theme songs? I bet you can't get them all. Come and listen to a story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up to the ground come a bumble crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kin folks said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California. Mysterious.
and smoke it. They're all together, who keeps the Adams family? The house is a museum where people come to see you. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission, to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone. dimension beyond that which is known to man it is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity it is the middle ground between light and shadow between science and superstition and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge this is Sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip That started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour A three-hour tour to the junction Forget about your cares It is time to relax at the junction Lots of curves you bet and even more when you get
we've seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of bats. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us on Great Day with Clear Day. I'm Marcus and we'll see you again soon.